put the truck on the back of it. Oh, anyway. Yeah. <coughs> A little bit of breeze in the air. All right, white boys. Where were we? Where were we? Well, we were kind of going around and around issues. Uh, Work and be, be here for a week and blah blah blah. blah oh blah. yeah, be, you know, around long enough to relax, and then we can start playing with some of the things. Once again, that's a, a very basic concept. If I can get them here and get them to relax, it long enough so they we can. What what would you expect to gain from this? Uh, it's a different environment. All right, but but still, there's there's some end result you must or. Some end result you can expect. Okay, he'll be he'll be in a different environment. His lifestyle will change. Uh, all these things because he's in a different. Of course, his lifestyle no, 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 will change. About just, you know, you know he and be here for, working, for the time. For the now, time, not that he's going to change his life. In what direction do you expect that his mind would take if he gets in this situation? All right. As say, uh, you've known him for quite a while. You know, you've seen him in a lot of different types of situations. In each situation, your mind, you know, as it has to be, your mind reacts in a certain way. Now, you're going to put him, I've seen him at Towards Tomorrow Fairs, okay, where, in fact, everyone's mind was supposed to change. I didn't see his mind change on, on that level in, in a, in any manner. He kind of went through it as Werner and, and ended up, in the end, doing exactly what he was doing before. Which is being the same burner and flowing back and forth. Okay, his decision making didn't change. Do you expect his decision making to change? What aspect do you expect to see different if he comes here? Well, I know what he did, what he what was good, and what he told me about what he was picking up on in the little time he could. Okay, that's what you know. Now speculate from what you know. Okay, we have more in terms of some of the things that we've talked about. Where we're not stuck in a little room in Central Square, we've got the greenhouse. We can show things. We have space, and and so relationship variety, to time and space, variety to to work with that we speculated on. We can be more creative. More creative in this. Yeah, we're not cramped. We're you know except for the cabin size and everything, but still then you know we, we we're not cramped to go out and. Say okay, now now we can get to this spot and we can do this, and it's quiet. When you work in a central square, you get trucks going by you all the time, and whether you realize it or not, they affect you. Here, you know, my you. my ears pick up the trucks that go on the street up and down the street up there. What? Up here. here. The one right up at the end here, where this yeah, tees. But, but that's all right because it's. Oh, I understand it's all right, is it? It's also all right to be in in Central Square and hear those trucks. Yeah, we're talking about energy now, and there's, there's the trucks that provide their own energy. The the roll of the wheels and the hum in your ear, the amount of noise creates a a psychological balance. Yeah, and the physicalness, what you can feel. Okay. Now you come here and you have once again a different psychological balance. You expect that a different what you feel. There'll be different results from the environment. Different results from the environment. And from what we've already... I feel like I'm pulling teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to pull teeth. Well, you know, I'm trying to answer your question. You know? I know it. And, uh, see, there's another thing, too, is I am I am extremely comfortable here. Here. Whereas various things, whatever, cause the discomfort. 
Well, that, does that have to do with every time you go to the city now, you're going because you have to go to the hospital, and that makes you uncomfortable to start? Maybe. Uh... Plus, being in there in the in River Street and my history in River Street. So you're not in River Street anymore? Yeah, see, I'm, uh, that's it. I'm not there anymore. So, you know, I mean, it's not going to be able to happen that way ever again. It's new. I don't know what can come out of it. I, you know, I mean, I've got certain things that I can pick that I can say, yeah, this is. You know, we've got some other images, we've got nature, we've got, you know, other things that we can use as background. The greenhousing, you know, the, the land concepts, which are all inter interrelated into some of the things that I'm doing, is right here. It's not in the city. So we can go and show it. And find new ways of showing it. I mean, like, Werner is a master in the feedback type things. He's good. I think his eye will... if. He's got the time to relax it so he can start looking at things in his way. If he's going to bring up things, and because we have had, you know, a, a dialogue in a, in a certain aspect, that between us, see, that's not lost. You know, what's on the tape and what we did is not lost between us. We know what we did. You know, we know what we can recreate out of that. Well, as no one else saw it, the only, the only way it could be lost is is through the two of you or, or the group of you. Yeah. If it, if it had been put out to the world, then you have a loss to the world. Before you put it out to the world, the only loss is to you. Yeah, and if you if you say there is no loss to you... To us personally. But there, there is a loss to what we, in we intended on doing. Because we can't, re we can't show anybody else that material anymore. To, to prove that we've done something, you know, even if it was only a certain amount of work tapes, so we worked that time and we put this this stuff on tape, we can't even show that really. This is true. But between us, we know what we did. We know what we can redo. We know what we want to and what we want don't want to redo. You know, we don't want to play with anymore. And he's already, in some ways, gone beyond that anyway. As far as some of the visuals that I saw later that he had done, you know, the feedback was great. And and that's perpetually going to go on because of what he does. And uh, every once in a while he's going to pick up an image of mine and we're going to do, do something with that and he's going to play with that image as he would play with something of George's images or something of somebody else's images. You can go anytime you want. This is another part of, of getting him up here. Yes. And that um, if the land gets together and the shop gets together and you know, all that sort of stuff, that the plan that I bounce around in my head, you know, is how, how is the land going to be used? And that all in some ways relates to greenhousing and, and other aspects of things that I've played with the, with the box. And then George has got, you know, I mean, there's land here and we've got these ideas that We've talked about land use over all the years. All of us, at one point or another, have talked about that production of food and spaces where we can do projects. And and I can't. Uh, it's like trying to tell somebody a picture. You know, tell somebody about a picture. A picture in itself is what it is. If you try and try and ex explain what's in it, the words make it something else, particularly to the person who's hearing them, because he's got his own interpretation of those words that cause his own images inside his head that might not match up with the actual reality. And the reality, when I go down to to Cambridge and I start talking about Vermont, if nobody's been to where I am in Vermont, they don't have any reference point to, to take off from. And to have Verna here, you know, as often as he can be here, you know, and then do something and do something more later and, and get to know a piece of land 